Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the better advanced SFML game series and in this video we are going to create a dynamic body for our Mario so that Mario can uh, kind of behave in a physics like manner so what I'm going to do is uh, you can see we have got a bunch of this here so let's go ahead and first of all open up mario.h and uh, let's go ahead and create a uh, private variable here let's uh, yeah let's create go ahead and create like a private variable here and uh, let's just label it as a b2 body pointer called body and uh, yeah of course it's not going to work that way we need to make sure we include b2 underscore body dot h and uh, yeah that should go uh, that should work hopefully and now let's go under mario dot cpp and you can see that uh, uh, we basically in map dot cpp set up a static body we are going to copy that code and paste it here but of course we are going to change a lot of stuff first of all for position we are just going to say position dot x and position dot y since we have mario's position and uh, when we are actually creating the body we need to make sure we uh, you know include physics dot h so that it can actually do that correctly not physics dot cpp physics dot h and uh, for the uh, size of the shape and of course we want to make sure we include polygon shape header as well or else it won't work so b uh, box 2d slash b2 underscore polygon underscore shape and yeah that works and now of course for the size uh, of course we need to pass in the half width and half height and since our mario has 1 by 2 so we are going to say 0 0.5 f by 1 and uh, yeah that pretty much works so you can see that uh, is pretty awesome and uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, kind of change some uh, data of the body to make sure our uh, body is a dynamic. First of all, we need to set the body def type to b2 underscore dynamic body so that uh, Box2D knows that it needs to update that body according to the dynamic laws because it's uh, uh, going to be a movable body unlike the tiles in the map. So that's going to work but a dynamic body needs to have some property so we won't be able to create a fixture directly like that but for mm, we will actually create a fixture definition. So what we will do here is uh, let's go ahead and remove this and uh, go ahead and create a b2 fixture def definition and let's just call it fixture def uh, like that and uh, that works quite nicely but what we need to do is of course include the correct header or else it uh, will not work so let's include uh, box 2d slash uh, fixture uh, b2 underscore fixture dot h so yes that works quite nicely and now what we can do is go here and uh, set the body dot create fixture and we can pass it the fixture definition and now it would allow us to set the bunch of properties on our fixture definition so yeah let's go ahead and first of all uh, make sure we return an address to it and not just it directly and of course we are going to set the shape to our shape that we have created and this also needs to be an address uh, it's a pointer so yes that works and we can set different properties we are going to set the density to 1 and that uh, uh, should be alright and we can also set other properties let's just set fix, uh, friction for now and let's set it to something like uh, 3 for example uh, you can of course set these values to 0 0.3 actually not 3 and we, we, are, we are going to change these values as we go along uh, and uh, kind of decide on what we want uh, this to be so yeah that works quite nicely and uh, now what we are going to do is of course we want to update Mario's position according to the body's position because the uh, physics engine will only simulate the body and we need to update the position that we are drawing to as well. So yes let's go ahead and uh, say position is equal to sf colon colon vector 2f and let's just uh, for the x we are going to say b2 uh, mm, let's not actually b2 let's uh, by the way we want to make sure we don't create a new body here we want to use the body member variable that we have got and now we can say body and we can say body dot get position and uh, uh, that should give us the body's position of course this is a b2 vector which is not convertible to an sfml vector so we will have to say x and y component separately like uh, that and uh, now we are also going to set the angle correctly so let's just say angle is equal to uh, body uh, dot get angle and uh, that should return the angle as a float now this angle that we get is in radians and to convert it to degrees that we are using we will just say 180 by pi and we don't have m underscore pi defined and we are just going to define it or better yet use uh, actually let's not define it uh, we can use const expressions so let's say const expression float and uh, m underscore pi is equal to 22 by 7 and it should automatically calculate the value for us so 22 by 7.0 f 
yes that works and if i were to go down here what you should see is that it will it will actually convert this at compile time so you don't need to worry about any optimizations and you can see it automatically gets the correct value and this should convert the angle to uh, degrees like it's supposed to be and uh, for drawing we would like to pass the angle here but the draw function does not take an angle so let's go ahead and change our renderer so that it allows us to have different angles so let's just go here add a float angle and let's make it a default parameter and uh, set its default value to zero so that uh, we don't always need to pass an angle and uh, in the implementation let's just go under cpp file and in here what i'm going to do is of course add a float angle and we can use sprite dot uh, set angle to set the angle but uh, actually not set angle we need to use set rotation so we'll say set rotation and pass it to our angle and now let's go ahead and uh, get you know just rearrange it just uh, a matter of style here by the way not necessary that you do this in a specific order and uh, after we have done this uh, that should allow us to for the things that we don't want an angle we can, it will automatically get it default to zero and we can pass the angle here so let's go ahead and run it and see what happens we actually test this to make sure that uh, this uh, we set it back to negative in the previous video that's wrong we need to set it to positive since in our coordinate system as we move down the y increases so if i were to run this right now what you should see is that uh, we do get a perfect mario and you can see mario actually falls down like gravity is supposed to make him and he stops when he reaches the that thing so that means our physics is working so in the next video we will maybe implement some debug drawing if anything goes wrong with the physics so that we can test it easily and in the video after that we will uh, maybe explore how to move mario and jumping and a bunch of other stuff and we will make our game exciting and interactive so stay tuned for that i will see you next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and share this video with other people and bye